two years ago, I was a member of a smaller 24-hour gym. It wasn't very big, but it had all the things I needed for my workouts. Treadmills, bikes, benches, all that stuff. I was working some pretty crazy hours at work at the time, so I tried to get in a workout whenever I could. One night, I went to work out at about 11 p.m. after a long day of work. When I got there, I saw that the place was completely empty. The way that the gym worked was that late at night, nobody would be working there, and to get inside the building, you would just swipe your card. I swiped mine and saw that yes, the gym was in fact completely empty, which made me happy because it's always nice to have the whole gym to yourself. I went to the corner where they had a place to put your coat and things and put my stuff in there. Then I walked past the front desk to the workout area. Nobody would be at the front desk late at night, and I knew this, but as I passed by, I noticed something. I looked closely and saw a man laying behind the desk sleeping. He was wearing a dirty black jacket and jeans, not really workout clothes. I stared at him for a few seconds because I was a little confused as to what was going on. I don't really know what I was thinking at the time, but instead of waking up the man to see if he was alright or asking what he was doing, I just walked away to start working out. It didn't cross my mind that maybe he had potentially passed out or something like that because he seemed to be just sleeping. When I got to the treadmill and started warming up, about a minute later I realized that I should probably go back and wake the man up to see if he was alright. I paused the treadmill and walked back over to the front desk, but when I got to the desk, the man was gone. I looked around confused as to where he could be. I hadn't heard or seen him at all in the minute or so that I was away, but I did have my headphones in in that time. I looked around the gym a little bit but didn't see the man. At that point, I called out hello, but got no answer. I figured the man must have left, and I went back to the treadmill and once again continued my workout. I ran for a while on the treadmill and then did some weightlifting. I got about 30 minutes into the workout and I had forgotten all about the man at that point. I was using a chest press machine in one of the corners when I noticed something in the reflection of the window. I looked out the window to my left and could make out something move behind me. Then I could see that it was the man from before. He was crouched down directly behind the machine that I was using, almost as if he was sneaking up on me. I couldn't see him directly from where I was but looking in the window in the reflection I could. This was very alarming to me and I immediately stood up and walked straight to the other end of the gym towards the front door. Once I got to the corner, I looked back to the area, but I couldn't see the man. I figured he was hiding again, but I wasn't willing to stay there any longer and I left. The next day, I called the gym and reported what happened. I switched gyms shortly after that and I'm really glad that I did. This story took place roughly three years ago. I'm a young adult female and have been working out for years. I belong to a relatively popular gym and would often work out at either very early mornings or very late at night. I preferred to work out in the mornings and I would go almost every day of the week. About three months or so after joining that gym, I would start to see some of the same people when I worked out. One in particular though that stuck out to me was a middle-aged man. He had gray hair and appeared to be rather skinny. Every time I would work out, he would seem to come and work out next to me. I didn't really care at first because it could have been a coincidence, but it became so much that every day he would do almost the exact same workout as I was doing. At one point, as I was leaving the gym, the man approached me and asked if I wanted to hang out with him. Seeing as that he was roughly 30 years older than me and the creepy feelings I got from him in general, I told him no, I wasn't interested. At that point, the man walked away, and I was relieved that maybe he wouldn't work out next to me anymore. And it was true for the next few weeks I didn't see the man at all, but then he returned, and once again would work out by me, and would always seem to be done working out the same time that I was. It got to the point where I decided to start working out late at night instead of the mornings. I started working out after my job, and I preferred the mornings, but it was nice not to see the man anymore. About two weeks went by, but once again, 
I noticed a man walking into the gym when I was in the middle of one of my workouts. He once again came over to me and started to work out. At this point, I was so frustrated that I just got up and left, even though my workout wasn't over. Then I saw the man start to leave as well. I left the gym completely and went home. I didn't go back to my gym after that. I decided I would take a break from working out and I would look for a new gym to attend in about a month or so. But roughly a week later, when I was at the grocery store, I noticed the same man there. I had never seen him there before. I just about had a heart attack when I noticed him and I tried to stay away from him the whole time I was shopping. He didn't come very close to me while we were in there, but the fact that I saw him made me very worried. I figured the man had to be stalking me at that point, and when I got home, I wanted to report him or something, but I didn't know if I could prove he was stalking me. I just wasn't sure what to do. But as I was unpacking my groceries, I noticed out my window that a car had pulled in front of my apartment. I had a bad feeling about it, and then I saw the man get out. I immediately ran to the door and locked it, and got out my phone ready to call the police. The man walked up to the front door and knocked on it. Of course, I wasn't going to answer. Then he tried opening the door himself. At that point, I decided to call the police. I explained my situation to them, and they said somebody would be on the way. I heard the man yell from outside that he knew I was in there, and he just wanted to talk. I didn't answer him at all. He kept trying to open the door and kept asking me to come out. Over time, as I didn't answer, his voice grew louder and more angry. It came to the point where he was screaming and banging on my door repeatedly. One of my neighbors ended up coming out and asking the man to leave. I heard him refuse, and shortly after that, I heard the sound of the police arriving. It didn't take long for them to take the man away, and it was eventually found that he had been stalking me for quite some time. I've worked at a gym for two and a half years now. It's where I've been working while I'm away from college on breaks. I enjoy the job because I like working out myself, and the pay has been pretty good. The gym I work at is sort of in the city, and I like that because I could walk to work occasionally. But this past summer was my scariest moment from working on the job by far. It was a Thursday evening, and I was working a closing shift. The gym was generally fairly quiet in the evenings, and we would usually only have one person working, which was me on this night. We closed at 10 p.m., and each hour that I worked, the gym slowly got less and less busy to the point where there were only about four or five people working out at 9.45. I was sitting behind the front desk, just waiting until I would be able to close up and go home, when a man walked into the gym from outside. I was not happy to see this, because we closed in roughly 15 minutes, so if he came to either work out or sign up, I would have to tell him we were about to close. He came up to the desk and said that there was a problem right outside. I asked him what it was, and he told me to follow him. We both walked out the front door to an alleyway that was between our gym and the building next to us. Looking back, that was a stupid thing to do, and I don't know why I left my front desk, because once I got out into the alley, I saw two men lying on the ground. The man I was with said that they had fallen down and gotten injured. Before I could ask any questions, however, both of the men suddenly got up and rushed towards me while the first man blocked my way of leaving. They grabbed me and started punching me and just beating me up. I did what I could to defend myself, but with three against one, I didn't do very well. Two of them held me there while one hit me. They then demanded for my wallet and phone and took them from me. They hit me a couple of more times and then all ran away. I was beaten, but it wasn't all that bad. I had a bloody nose and some bruises and scrapes. I slowly walked back into the gym and back to my desk. Somebody saw me and asked if I was okay. I told them what happened and asked them to call the police. The police ended up arriving and taking me to the hospital that night as well as taking down all the information that I could give them. The only real injury I had was a broken nose and I was able to go home that night but was pretty sore for the next few days. I was able to get a couple of weeks off from work to recover. Several days later, however, my phone was found smashed in a nearby park, and the next week, 
I ended up getting my driver's license sent to me in the mail with no return address. I'm not sure who sent me my license, but it was creepy to know that they had my address. Thankfully, the men ended up being caught.